It flies hundreds of meters high in the sky, where the wind is consistent and strong. It could be mistaken for a plane or a kite. It is in fact wind energy 2.0, the next generation of wind energy. Europe says 32% of its energy must come from renewable sources by 2030. And it's predicted that onshore and offshore wind could generate more than one third of global electricity needs by 2050. But to make that happen, capacity needs to scale. Companies like TwingTech are leading the way in finding new solutions by bringing together aerodynamic technology and new business models. This tethered wing can fly up to 300 meters high. That's almost three times the height of a large wind turbine. Here, the power of the winds can be three times stronger and are more consistent. The wing is tethered to a winch where the electricity is generated. If the wind stops, the drone automatically lands. Compared to traditional turbines, the energy drone doesn't need a foundation and uses 90% less materials, meaning it can be shipped and installed easily around the world. Currently, the wind turbine industry is dominated by just five manufacturers. They accounted for two thirds of the wind farm production in 2018. With a commercial scale turbine costing roughly three to four million dollars, not including transportation, insurance and maintenance, there is a reward for disruptors like TwingTech that can bring cost efficiencies to the supply chain. Wind and other renewable energies have a bright future. They are now supplying more than a quarter of global power. Meanwhile, the environmental products industry is already worth $2.5 trillion and could grow by 6 to 7% per year. Scaling up investments into wind energy companies will be key to accelerating the global growth of wind power. TwingTech estimates it will take three years for its model to be commercially viable. Our environmental targets are within reach, if we can capture the massive potential of wind energy 2.0.